welcome 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 it's your girl eve elements if you're new here welcome if you're returning back welcome back to all my gardens make sure y'all go follow me on uh tiki tock tick tock eve elements is the name over on tick tock um make sure you are scheduling and booking your readings email readings are three questions for 25 dollars all that information is in the description box below as well. You can also book your readings on hypesy.com forward slash e underscore elements. You can find all the reviews of all services that I perform on facebook.com forward slash fire spell. Make sure you are purchasing your Divine Femme, Divine Masculine merch as well. From my store, I'm also building my website. Which will have some nice gifts and treats for all of my members and those that uh, follow me. For all of my supporters and all of my members. The website is, built, is being built with you in mind. Okay. We're going to see what's going on in the collective. Ooh, did y'all see that? Moving on. Someone is unavailable. A waste of time. It's over. Some of y'all are moving on from a connection that was just a time waster. You're moving on from a time waster here. Honeymoon phase attending someone's wedding. Ooh, give it time. Everything in divine timing. Let things flow. So, for some of you, it may or may not resonate. Take the parts that fit, leave the rest. If it don't apply, let it fly. Energy is exchangeable, interchangeable, intermingling. These readings are for entertainment purposes only. All legalities are also on the channel as well. Um, getting several messages here. Give me a second. I don't feel like y'all going to be attending someone's wedding. I feel like... You are supposed to marry somebody and you're feeling like it's a waste of time. And so when the right time approaches, you're going to be moving on from this person or this situation that you've been dealing with. That's what I'm feeling. You're going to be moving on and you're going to be dating other people here. We have date night here. Get ready to be wined and dined, okay? Some of you are going to be going out on a date here. Those of you who've already moved on from a situation that you felt was a waste of time, I feel like you're getting back out there in the scene and you're starting to date. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, guys, what we have here. Someone else is reversed here. You moved on from someone that was dating other people here. Someone that you were going out with that you thought you were exclusive with. This person didn't feel the same way towards you. They weren't being exclusive to only you. They were literally out there having multiple options, dating multiple people, right? Mm, mm, mm. Spend the name, they, they money on others. Just dating, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like. Someone wasn't using their intuition here. And I feel like you got tired of it and you're letting this person go here. I feel like whoever you are, you probably was watching this person's social media platforms. Seeing who they like. Check off boxes and getting evidence yourself. Some people do do that. They feel like they with a partner and they get an inkling or gut feeling that their partner's cheating on them. They tend to follow their social media platforms sometimes under the guise of a fake account. Someone could have been doing this. What else do we need to see? I'm going to put this down. Let me grab this. Someone's waiting for something to come to the light. So, they, so that it can align with their intuition that they know that somebody was cheating. I feel like this could be a couple that live together. That's engaged to get married, not yet married. Someone talking about how they work in late hours, but they're not working late hours. 
they're literally dating other people and telling whoever it is they live with that they're working late. Someone is so over the BS. Someone has blonde hair. Under pressure reverse. They no longer under pressure about the situation here or having anxiety. So I feel like some when when it comes to you feeling like your partner is cheating on you, it does put you in a state of anxiety, right? To a point, some people are so sensitive they get panic attacks. Someone's no longer in this energy. They're out of the energy because they're over this person's BS. They know that they, they're about to get rid of this person. Yeah. Two people who are engaged to get married. They're not married yet. They're engaged to get married. They could have just recently went to a friend's wedding or got invited to someone else's wedding here. And someone was a no-show. Someone didn't show up. Waves of emotions reverse. Someone no longer has feelings for this. Someone could work for the police department. This is reverse. Why are they coming like that? Someone is numbing themselves to the situation because they know if, if something pop off, the, the popo will be right around the corner on that behind. They trying to avoid the popo. Someone works for the police department. Inside the police department, they they don't have to be a cop. They could be a clerk. You know what I'm saying? I heard court clerk. Someone works for the court. Someone could be a bailiff that works inside the police department. Jezebel. Whoever, it could be even a cop that cheated on his wife with a prostitute. In the back of the squad car. In the squad car period. I heard someone was giving BJ's. In the squad car. Holy Spirit, and Spirit guys, what do we have here? Someone definitely is not going to the next level in this situation here. So we have a police officer that likes to date prostitutes. And they they already are in a connection about to get married to somebody. And they're cheating on their their soon to be spouse or this won't be no spouse no more. They fine. Because someone's being watched here. Fake friends reverse. Not supportive. Drain your energy. Disrespectful. Someone's friends are supporting their habits. Someone's friends knows exactly what they're doing. Someone's friends know they're cheating. Feelings reverse. This person cheats with complete disregard. They don't care. They just do, do it. You know what I'm saying? Secret accounts. There's a Jezebel out here, this prostitute. And they don't have to be a prostitute, so, you know what I'm saying? It's just, this could be someone's mistress that's creating secret accounts to spy. Someone is done having feelings for someone here. It literally could be someone's mistress that is over the situation here they're losing feelings for somebody here that they once may have had feelings for they finding out the truth by creating these secret fake accounts and spying on somebody here the person that's saying they work late hours here is very autonomous meaning they have no emotions they have no feelings here it's almost either psychopathic or sociopathic here they have friends that cover their tracks for them. Lie on their behalf. Yeah, they was working late. They was with me at 8 o'clock at night and on a Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? Bumping heads reverse. Someone no longer wants to bump heads with this energy. It's like an energy of, I give up. I'm not dealing with this relationship. That's, that's what it's giving. Someone is a karmic divine feminine reverse. Bumping heads reverse. Yeah, this is Jezebel. Tries to come off as a divine friend, but they're not. They're a side piece. They're a mistress. Divine feminines are never mistresses. they always number one. This someone who's number two, three, and four. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
figuring out what's going on, the hidden agenda. Whoever this is, they're figuring things out by creating these fake accounts. This is someone that, whoever this Jezebel energy is, they have childhood wounds. The whole spirit from spirit, guys. Yeah, getting to our readings. Someone's being blocked. So they're trying to get tarot readings to figure out why someone blocked them. Double trouble reverse. There's a friend here that's helping somebody out. Risky behavior, disaster coming. Someone doesn't think that their behavior is disastrous by blocking someone's energy. You cause someone to get a tarot card reading. Someone's constantly getting readings. Someone recorded a sex tape with someone. That's why they got blocked. Because someone knew. Marriage reverse here. Is either divorce or two people that someone's not married here. Lovers and friends can tell each other anything we're meant to feel. And there's a lot of pillow talking that was going on with someone. Someone pretended not to be married, but they were married here. And someone's figuring that out through a card reading that they were messing with a married a married man, a married woman. Someone's figuring that out. And that's why someone feels like someone is a waste of time. And they're moving on from this energy here. It's about to go down reverse. An event has taken place. Watching it unfold. Something hasn't occurred yet. Because someone is keeping whatever's going on hidden here. Because they were living in the moment. So, yeah, it's like a one-night stand. I picked up on this energy the other day. But these are two different energies here. Someone wasn't using their intuition. I heard inhibitions. Someone could have been drinking on the job. Or someone was just in the mood to be intimate with whoever this Jezebel spirit is. What do we need to know? Concerning this definitely has a lot to do with a police officer here mirroring. They both were living in the moment. They both were feeling frisky. Energy was matching energy that night. Because this happened at night. I'm picking up at night. No strings attached. No strings attached. Neither one of them confirmation. Neither one of them wanted to be having anything seriously so neither one of them wanted anything seriously it was a one night stand wasn't using their intuition here so whoever this is that was engaged to get married had a, a one night stand with a prostitute or a mistress or whoever's in the Jezebel energy they both were feeling frisky and horny that night they both slept with each other no strings attached I'm sure they discussed this as well they got it on and then got it off and that's that. Anything else we need to know? Someone's in their feelings, happiness, sadness, fear, and anger. They don't know how to feel. Because they realized there was no strings attached. But I don't think someone... I think someone only agreed to have no strings attached. But they really wanted to have strings attached. If that makes any kind of sense. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I'm agree to have no strings attached and not catch feelings, but someone's catching feelings. They want to communicate with somebody here. Hit my line, late night calls, phone, FaceTime. Someone wants to communicate with someone because they're in their feelings about this no strings attached. Or it could be the main person that wants to call someone to see if they really at work. Goodbye, reverse. Someone didn't want it to be over. Someone wants to apologize. Someone's side-eyeing someone here. Yeah, so someone wants to leave someone because they found out someone did cheat on them. They got it through a tarot card reading here. And now that, now that this person is caught up in some way, shape, or form, they want to apologize to the main person here. And the main person is, like, unsure of this person's motives. Okay. How does the person feel in this situation? What do we see? For the main person, 
Is this the main person that doesn't want to marry this person anymore because they realize this person wasn't working late hours at night. They realized through a tower party that this person was literally cheating on them. This person's a cheater. Anything else we need to know? Yeah, and they had enablers around them. We have drinking enablers, bad choices, partying, drugs, unhealthy, promiscuous, toxic lifestyle. This person and their friends are all toxic and someone's tired of this. What's the outcome? We already see the outcome. Someone's moving on. We got two cards that came out. Yeah, moving on. From two different decks. Moving on. Moving on, letting go, loving you. Someone's putting themselves first. They're freeing themselves up. Someone refuses to deal with their childhood issues and wounds. They refuse to heal. So someone's definitely moving on from this here. Because they, all they do is live in a fantasy world. Someone can drink a lot. So even if this is a police officer. Or this could be a police officer dealing with a person that they're engaged to be married to. Flip or switch the roles. Someone in this connection is deciding they're giving up on this situation. Because this is all this person do is have one night stands is have enablers around them that's toxic they're moving on from this and they're shutting it down they're done with that being said this is your reading